Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the iRange X IRX6 multi protocol transmitter. It is compatible with FlySky and iRange remote controller like this one. This is the FlySky i6X and it will allow you to control toy grade quadcopters like the Ishin E010 and in this video I'm going to check also if it's compatible with the Ishin E011 and the E012. I don't have any other toy grade quadcopters so these are the only quadcopters I will be able to check if it's compatible with. Inside the bag we get in just this adapter. In order to hook it up to your remote controller you just have to insert it on the back with the antenna facing the top part of the remote controller and you will have to power it up externally with a 1S battery so it's a good idea to put a velcro on the back of the remote controller and then you can just power it up whenever you want to. Binding the remote controller using the module to the Ishin E010 is done by simply first turning on the quadcopter then you will have to connect the battery to the module while holding the sticks in this manner. It's described in the guide that I'm going to put a link in the description. It's a bit tricky so just hold it like that while connecting the module to a battery and now you can see that it's bound to the remote controller and it's working. The module is going to remember the last mode that you turned it on with which means that next time you will connect the battery to the module it's going to work again without the need to put it again in the selected mode. So now it's working and it's working with the correct features. All the channels are working as they should. So you can see I wouldn't be able to fly it around the house so much because they just broke this arm and maybe it's time to retire this Ishin E010. It's been through a lot and it's already broke too many times. And now unfortunately it doesn't work with the Ishin E011 and the E012. So if you have these quadcopters don't bother getting this model because it's just not going to work with. I think for about $8 it's a nice gadget to have and it supports about 25 maybe 30 models like the JGR CH36, the Cheerson CX10 and even the good old SEMA X5C. So if you lost the remote controller of your old quadcopter or it doesn't work anymore you can just get this model and you will be able to fly it pretty easily. So I'm going to put in the description a link to the guide that will show you all the model state support and I hope you enjoyed this short video and it's time probably to say goodbye to the Ishin E010. So thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.